Hi, everybody. Welcome to Monday. The S&P 500 was up almost a quarter of a percent today. Uh, pretty good. Actually, we're holding in there, getting ready for the big CPI report to tell us what's happening with inflation on the top line and core inflation uh, that comes out on Wednesday. I don't think the market will take off much before then. Uh, we'll see what happens as far as that goes. Uh, could be a really interesting report in the sense that, you know, we've had some consistent decreases, especially on top line CPI month after month. Uh, and it's the last really big report that the Fed might factor in uh, at their meeting next week to see uh, what they're going to talk about in terms of rates. Uh, expectation is that rates will be going up uh, next week, uh, another quarter of a percent. Uh, and so, you know, no surprise there. Several Fed governors out speaking today talking about having to possibly raise, you know, rates again. So uh, nothing uh, new there either, as far as that goes. So we are heading into earnings season. Uh, this will be the fifth quarter in a row where the analysts who estimate earnings are on the negative side. Uh, and uh, the last four quarters, that was kind of an expensive proposition. Actually, they were wrong. Uh, we The companies ended up exceeding those expectations. So, uh, you know, eventually they might be right if you keep keep going down the same path. But so far, uh, they haven't been. Uh, the one nice thing is when they lower expectations, it does make it easier for a lot of these companies to kind of exceed those expectations, which is good. Uh, but this will be an important quarterly earnings report just because we want to see what type of forward guidance the companies give, you know, what they're seeing in terms of, you know, pressures or lack thereof on their businesses as far as that goes. So uh, not a bad day. Uh, wait and see what happens uh, tomorrow and look forward to talking to you about that then. Thank you.